right. See ya. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Garbage Day. It's hour 14. And I have a song for you. The curtain to hour 14 unfolds. It's, oh, that's not the right word. The curtain <laughs> to hour 14 unfurls. It's the duality of cat girls. It's something about anime. We're almost in the month of May. I wrote this verse at the last minute. I probably should just omit it. Hold on. I didn't prepare wow. that. <laughs> well, I think well, you just did. Fuck it. <laughs> it's garbage day. Cha cha cha. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so, hey. Hey, hey, Portex. Hello. Uh, did I post the thing into the thing? Maybe I did. There we go. No. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're going to look at the duality of cat girls. So, I this was. Do they have that many layers? By, let's see. I've been pondering this like all she, evening. She <laughs> a Venator and let's see. <laughs> Lise Beathan? Yeah. I think I'm pronouncing <laughs> that right. Yeah, this is actually our uh, our fourth and final document by the, uh, the He a Venator and the Lise Beathan. Yeah, for tonight. And the he have an adder. <laughs> so he, yeah, he um, yeah. Well, spelled backwards, it's Rota Nevea. <laughs> oh, that's such a pretty <laughs> name. <laughs> <laughs> so in the room, we got uh, what? We got Zarla. We got Bozarth. We got Bump uh, Girl. We got Cheapske. There's Lou. There's hey. a Kumquat. Shell Games drawn some shit, and I think there's boots. I'm here. That's fine. <laughs> so, uh, Cheapskate, why don't you tell us uh, what cat girls are? Okay. As yep, soon as I uh, find the spot where I'm supposed to yep, say why, that. It's why we love cat girls. And don't worry, okay. I highlighted an obnoxious orange. <laughs> All right, I got it. All right. right. What are cat girls? Cat girls are women that look like or remind you of cats. <laughs> This could be achieved with simple makeup, such as face paint, costumes, and type of dress. Or it could be captured in the woman's mannerisms, movements, and voice. The best cat girls have both the look and the personality of a cat. The best cat girls have both the look and the personality of a cat. There's the duality. duality. So, like, wow, <laughs> cat yeah. me. so like, the cat they, like, shit in my dry cleaning. <laughs> Well, let me tell you about the most well-known cat girl. The most well-known cat girl is probably Catwoman. The, Catwoman is, that, is one of those love her not, hater villains in the Batman. Not a cat stories. girl, not yet a Catwoman. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, she certainly causes a lot of confusion for our male bat. On the one That's hand, my... yeah. male bat. Uh, our male bat. Yeah. Uh, I'm it, very young. Everyone, does everyone have confusing. their own mail bat? It's not no, my yeah, mail bat. No, 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 yeah, no, lot no, confusion no, no, means they can't figure out uh, which <laughs> space they're supposed to park their trailer on. Uh, <laughs> so on the one hand, she is a burglar who likes to cause mischief and mayhem for her own amusement. On the other hand, she is sensual, exciting, and very compatible with our masked Avenger. It would be difficult for any man to resist this cat, especially when portrayed by Michelle Pfeiffer. Now that is one hot kitty. Ooh, good, good. Um, so, Bump Girl, Hello. scroll down a bit. You can answer the question of why cats and not dogs? Oh, I know this one. It's easy. So why cats and girls? Wait, that's not the same question. Okay, so why <laughs> cats and not dogs? So why cats and girls? So that's still not the same question, but it's okay. So why cats and girls? Oh, shit. God damn it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Cats and girls. Why? Cats and girls. Why? No, I figured out it changes here. Why not a dog girl, bird girl, fish girl, or pick your favorite pet girl? Wait, is he so shooting down the idea of birds? Maybe they're different. Like, don't discriminate or something. It's a fish uh, with the woman legs. Ooh, yes, that's, that's a fish girl. <laughs> 
Or maybe it's just the fish that someone put lipstick on at this <laughs> at the farmer's market. And you've gone too far anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you why not any of those things. That is because cats are very feminine, not just in the way they look, but in their attributes as well. Oh, I love this document already. Oh, this is just political gold. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh. Cats have a sharper face. <laughs> because they sharpen it on my nice, clocks, nice which is a is feminine trait. In <laughs> contrast, oh. dogs have a more angular face, which oh. is more masculine. Cats Sharper, are... not angular. Sharp this angles. Face. never seen cats. Okay, cats are <laughs> slim and graceful. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, there's yeah. never been a fat cat in the world. <laughs> Um, especially not famous ones, like <laughs> everyone's favorite. Garfield <laughs> cat girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Show god! If you can hear me, the best gender bend ever. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, sleek, slim, and graceful are well sought after feminine traits. Even the sounds a cat makes are more. Not laughing. Okay. Even the sounds a cat makes are more feminine. Oh my Hers god! Just a meow. Popping up the hairball. <laughs> Yeah, the beautiful, <laughs> sultry hairball sounds. As opposed to the rougher barks and growls of dogs. Uh, sorry, God, I hope I wasn't jacking off to that. Uh, cats are very clean and have a more refined style to interaction. <laughs> head tilt. Uh, the they ignore me just like girls dog. do. <laughs> <laughs> Friends owned by my cat. <laughs> uh, yes, so that right, that the same cannot be said about dogs and men. Even masculine cats are very feminine. Oh, wow, this is getting really complex, guys. This is amazing. Cats are very feminine, not just in the way they look, but in their attributes. I think I this sounds familiar. <laughs> yes, yes, no, no, I'm sure it's positively, absolutely. Cats are very feminine, just not in the way they look, but in their attributes in, as well. Do I, All right, so, wait, so is that, this the that same, same topic? No, yeah, this is that's more the, topic. Oh, yeah. So, um, is this one of those sites where they pull things out as subject headings? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, so Blue, is this I a level two heading now? I love cat girls. Yeah. <laughs> we'll quote. Okay. Uh, so what is it about cat girls that makes them so lovable? <laughs> cat girls are vulnerable. One, cat girls are vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> cat girls have that cute and vulnerable look that make men want to protect them. Oh, the large eyes and protect. cute, that's, perky that's, that's ears that creates yeah. a youthful and endearing <laughs> look. Special way that men protect safe things. And innocent. This, in turn, makes the man feel more powerful because he gets to fulfill his traditional role as savior and protector. All men are Jesus. <laughs> cat I'll girls, save you, cat. Cat girls are sleek, trim, and graceful. Men are also taken by form and movement. The sleek and slim form of a cat combined with grace and movement is extremely feminine and very alluring to a man. Think ballerina, except think with claws and a tail. <laughs> and just today I saw my cat fall off the cat tree like directly on its face. <laughs> like thud. Just like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. was clearly a dog. Listen, if you if you get a ballerina to dance on top of a cat tree, she's probably going to fall off too. <laughs> Guys, there is much beauty in the sleek gracefulness of a cat girl, and men want to take part in what beauty, in that beauty, and master it. That's uh, what. I... <laughs> yep. That's what Continue, men want. Please. To do. Okay. That yes. is why many men like cars that are. <laughs> <laughs> As we well know. Oh, Are no. we going to get cat cars? <laughs> the perfect car. <laughs> Some men may also want to own or possess that type of beauty to show it off as a status symbol. That's perfectly normal <laughs> and absolutely not creepy in any way. <laughs> you want me to finish this? How yeah. do the cat girls feel? Uh, yeah, cat yeah, girl yeah, liberation. Yeah. Boots, uh, what about the next point? What's the other? What's another thing that that we love about both women and cats? Um, sorry, what number are we at? Three. Uh, three. Three. Okay. Three. Cat girls have long tails. There is something about a long tail that makes cat girls very <laughs> alluring. Inter Same with pangolin girls. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, interestingly, in the animal kingdom, a long and colorful tail is often used by male birds to attract females during mating season. However, I bird girls weren't hot. Now I'm confused. Listen, let me finish my point, lady. Bird boys are super hot. <laughs> right. yeah, so That's just, my Irish. yeah, a bird boy cat girl like combo is the yeah. my <laughs> ultimate prom king happen. queen vote. Blue is my <laughs> However, in the case of cat girls, the tail probably adds to her sleek and graceful look. Certainly in cats, the tail helps to provide balance and movement. A tail can be extremely expressive and emotive. There's something about a long tail that makes cat girls very alluring. This is clearly the kid who is trying to pad out his essay length and so he's <laughs> copying the first line. In conclusion... <laughs> I have demonstrated my thesis. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. <laughs> and uh, if we scroll down, Bozarth, you can explain, finally, what is the duality of cat girls? I think this will make a lot of sense. The duality of cat girls. What do you think of cat girls? Mm. Yum. I prefer bunnies. <laughs> Anything female with a pulse is good enough. No pulse needed. I'm not picky. Don't know about cat girls, but I can't stop looking at the pictures. Cat girls are a study in contradictions. Like the cat, they are confident and independent. Yet, they can be soft and vulnerable. Even the look of cat girls capture this duality. The large eyes and the perky kitten ears say vulnerable but the claws and sharp face say danger um what yeah that's yeah, that's what that's are, are you are you confused come quad yeah saying. so the study in contradictions conclusions just demonstrates my point about this being the bad essay writer <laughs> cats are both soft and sharp since the dawn of time, men have dreamed of cat girls. <laughs> so, um, Therefore, society team. needs to improve cat girls in order to improve itself. <laughs> so you might be thinking, well, what's the rest of the stuff these people have to say about cat girls? And the answer is nothing. Fucking nothing? The rest of the site does not want to talk about cat girls? That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. Well, hang on. There is a little bit of it. But uh, one of the things they bring up, they bring up nasty people and they bring up like bullies and internet trolls and things like that. Um, so uh, someone makes some post about like there's bullies on the internet, which is really weird. But if you scroll down, Kumquat, there's a, a part that says David, Sh David Shane says, and it's highlighted in obnoxious magenta. And uh, yeah, I think you just read that Ooh. whole thing in your uh, best blow up the moon. <laughs> Boys. Oh God! Okay, hang on. I need to stay, remove my yeah. headphones. I can't believe uh, you're you're directly encouraging that. Yeah, that's uh, fine. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh boy, it's it's oh, his microphone it's, at this it's, point. It's your hour, not, Portex. I'm he can only stop. break himself right now. Is that the point? Wow. All right. Well, see, it, it also helps that it's highlighted in like fuchsia because I think that adds like some real Connie Marshall highlighting there. Yeah, it does. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. Um. Yes. Two point <laughs> ability. Um. Yeah. Uh. My name is David Shane. Um. <clears throat> I posted this at 5.27 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Be careful. Do not sign up for any movie site that are free, such as Prime Wire, AG, One Channel, or Movie Kingdom, Vodly Solar Movies. These sites abuse their members for pleasures. They abuse people in their chat rooms, in their forums, and the comment sections, and whoever they attacking are the same people they have abused prior who come back to the site to engage in this crazy site, but they will allow the person to mingling and gain trust and engage with the fake friends you have built on the site, then gain information to do their smear campaign. All these sites that have a connection. And primarily, AG, Prime Wire, AG, no person is to be trusted on that site. <laughs> <laughs> that was one sentence. <laughs> what they do is a character ass ass assassination. They trolled and bully their members after they have the person hooked up by watching free movies for a particular time they attack depending on which one they jealous of and those who they attack, which are mostly anyone who don't belong to their click of Mafia Gang. 
They have karma points for it. Yeah! <laughs> so if you don't add friends, they deduct <laughs> points. And if you add them, they will betray you at the end of the tunnel. When... <laughs> the tunnel. That's where the light is, right? <laughs> when the moderators just want to have fun because they're jealous of that certain individual who has actually seemed to be a threat to their crew. Those are the ones they target. Or if they feel the person is very beautiful as well, they cut all the beautiful flowers as a member exposed privately. They attack all the girls which are beautiful or guys that are a threat. May it be intellectually or looks wise or gaining too much information of their site. Just idiotic stuff that take place in forums. But this site is by, by far very dangerous. They have a technique where each person has a profile where you can take pictures. Walpost, they have a forum for discussions on the movies or books and partake in their games of nonsense, which are actually trolling. But whoever are they targeting? And oh, they say it's the Wonderland movie site for free. But remember, nothing in life comes for free. There's always a catch to things. Movie site to cyberpath individuals a game God. for sick owners of this pathetic low-life forum, which the poor members sign up without knowing what the game is about. They would All be right. following into these sociopath predators trap. So the sole purpose of the site is to gain as much information by whatever you share with the friends or let's Shut say up. so-called fake friends <laughs> who ruining the members' lives and actually expose where the person lives and have all kinds of stereotypes and gossips. They do smear campaign and also use social media for the sociopath to gossip to the oh programs on TV. Cambridge so be Analytica. warned, another sociopath and psychopath technique. Gang stalking thugs are not to be taken lightly. Oh, yeah. And whoever the owners are, the moderators hey. and admins should be arrested. Why do you think they are to trying to destroy and invent their lives online for pleasure then should be banned. They also have minors in these sites, and all the adults are all intermingling, which it's quite fishy. The other thing they do is to recruit, Actually, so be careful no, recruiting <laughs> to participate in their illegal activity. Posting links is illegal, so don't partake in anything in these sites. If you do the same things they doing, stalking people, remember you are partaking in illegal activities, and that is a felony, so don't do it. When anything is free, there is always a cost to it. Be warned. They associated with mafia, so stay away from the site. Sad how people use forums to abuse people. Uh, sadly, these forum plays need to be banned off the internet as they can be easily take the youngster and cause more damage than good. They also have soft porn on their site. No one to be trusted on this site. They track the member's IP address and expose anything for their vampires attacking adrenaline sociopaths. Great, they savor at the expense of decent what? people devouring the person's mind, trying to lead them to insanity. Be aware, do not trust no one on that site. They have a group of thugs and they partake ill's activities and it's dangerous the to time. members. These piracy <laughs> sites need to be taken offline. Sadly, many people don't know, so remember buy the movies, go to the theaters and help the actors, these people who have piracy sites are dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> well, who the fuck it? Yeah. In conclusion, three movies are a study in contrasts. Did, did, you, learn, did yeah. you learn anything about cat girls from me? This is about, yeah, that's good. We learned so much about cat girl. Was he looking up a cat girl movie? Is that what happened? <laughs> no, no, there's just literally they just asked, like, people say, oh, internet bullies are bad. Uh, what do you guys think? And some people say, yeah, I agree. Internet bullies aren't very fun. And then that fucking happened so it kind of turned into a like lulling like soothing lullaby part way through it's just <laughs> like ah oh, there's a rhythm to this and i voice. kind of understand the ebb and flow of the tide it's kind of like one of those meditative cds bump girl is my bestest favorite person in the whole world <laughs> I love you, Victor. To my dialogue. Yay, bump girl. she in no Aww. she in no way I'm contributed so to his again. dialogue <laughs> So, and if you want to do smear campaign and also use social media for the sociopathic gospel programs on the TV, come to all pit. <laughs> yeah, but posting links is illegal. Where we can abuse people. Yes, sadly, online. Where we take gang stalking thugs lightly. <laughs> <laughs> so we then, uh, yeah, they just the site just goes on some completely other uh, random tangents and eventually they have this incredibly long thing where they say some men like uh assertive women and some men don't and it's just it's pretty it's pretty boilerplate but uh i think uh zarla you can actually um read here i'll just paste it here because it's really short but yeah, you can just uh read this one response to it <laughs> i think it clears a lot of things up about what uh what kind of woman men want <laughs> amy says Women don't be obedient anymore because men come in and try to take advantage of that obedience. Why are we always talking about what the women should be doing? Why not talk about what the men should be doing? Because if you think about it, men don't act like men these days, but little boys who want their cake and eat it too. Good. 
Oh, Eight man sister. Oh, Girl oh, power. Oh, <laughs> Post wave feminism. Uh, yay. When I'm talking about. Uh, so, talking so Talking mug. It's hard to do. Talking. <laughs> so uh a lot of the, the site actually has um is is has just a lot of just really standard um Descriptions, uh, new age descriptions of angels and and vampires and things like that. So angels, vampires. It's it's just like some vampires are sparkly, some ain't. Like it's doesn't really do as much. Um, some are cats. So don't worry though. I did have a backup. No, plan. cat girls are over. No more cat yeah, girls. The, yeah, the cat yeah. girls don't come back for the rest of the thing. Oh, okay. Um, so we're moving on to like Bunicula. <laughs> God, Advanced I well, fetishes. I do- Remember that some of the first bunnies. <laughs> Advanced fetish and dragons. Two soft ears and two sharp fangs. <laughs> My fetish is the Scholastic Book Fair. <laughs> I'm Scholastic Book Fair kin, so we're meant to be. <laughs> um, but there is a there is a backup um, plan because. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, bad this is my favorite time. We got a fifty dollar donation from B Group B Gropu Hero saying, "Put the cum, put the cum right in my quad." <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> and this other Oh, and that and apparently put there. us over the edge. <laughs> it helps. Woo-hoo. So, uh, since that site has a bunch of just pretty standard discussions of things, uh, we have a backup plan. Standard. Like, but this is a really moving target here. I mean, okay, yeah, but still, it's still, it's just like, if you have a dream about a vampire, you might be successful in life, and just, mm. so we have a backup plan, and the backup mm. plan is, uh, this doc right here, that Zarla made a long time ago, um, did. Zarla, do you want to explain kind of what this, what this is? <laughs> uh, um, let me see, uh, well, a really, really, really long time ago, I mean, talking like 2001, or, you know, like, uh, 2000 or just 2000 itself, uh, there was this really old site that used to sell um, Japanese porn comics, you know, uh, generally called Dojinshi. And the thing was run by a Japanese guy named Toshi. And Toshi would write the summaries for the comics, but in English, but he actually wasn't very good at English. <laughs> so you have these, uh, these insane porn comics to begin with, and then you have Toshi trying to summarize what these comics are to try and sell them to you. <laughs> but... And so it's great. The summaries yeah. are great. <laughs> so, so for, and if anyone's been like, oh, we're making fun of this guy, he doesn't know English. No, English is a horrible fucking disaster language. So <laughs> the fact that he, he, the fact that we can comprehend sort of what he's talking about in any of these is actually really good. So, uh, yeah, we can uh, just start to, you know, actually, you can kick it off, Zarla, whichever one. Uh, if you, you can do the first one, or if there's one in particular you want to uh, Bartex. read. Bartex, um... make, make the doc viewable to the public. Oh, yes. is it? No. Yeah. Uh, you gotta... Oh, you, that's right. You shared it with me. Let's see. Get share. I just sent it to you. <laughs> you didn't make it. Yeah. Okay. One okay. It's good moment. now. Just refresh, everybody. You got it. Yay. Yeah. Woo. All right. So there, there you go. go. All right. Toshi. Yes, Toshi. I assume he's a guy. Maybe he's a girl. I assume he's a guy, though. <laughs> let's see. Um. <clears throat> let's see. Uh. Let's start with the summary of this. Well, it does not have much to be described. It is 120% Yahweh. Cloud decides giving his virginity to Vincent. Vincent abuses Cloud gently in the beginning of the story. Vincent quit doing because he thinks that Cloud is not old enough to do it. Cloud tells Vin that he is old enough to have sexual relationship. Vin starts abusing Cloud very hard on a bed. And that's it. That's, oh, the end. <laughs> <laughs> that's my pitch. Buy my comic. <laughs> <laughs> Your boots, you can read the first one that's in the list too. The one that's right above it. Hmm? Oh, yeah. just the 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 one the short one? Uh the one that right right above the one that Zarla just read. That's the yeah, just after the descriptions where it says, is that what they call it nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> the one being indicated by the yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. cursor. Toshi unintentionally creates several new urban dictionary entries. <laughs> that's a good description. <laughs> You can read the the thing under it. The summary. You need to be very specific with Boots at this hour. He's I, running on a I'm lot of monster. Wait, what? We, wait, isn't the thing <laughs> below that exactly what what uh, was Zarla? No, that's just, just the descriptive subtitle. That's Zarla's description, yeah. I think. 
Yeah, yes, job, I added that. It looks similar, I, but I it's paste, actually I very different. The thing. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Cloud tells Rufus that he has heard Rufus never move like a frog while having sex on a bed. <laughs> Cloud says that he has heard about Rufus's night of nightlife from Zeng. Rufus gets mad at Zeng. Rufus pushes Zeng on a bed and jumps on him. This time, Rufus decides that he will be the one to satisfy his partner on a bed. In the style of Amplexus. <laughs> he moved like frog on bed. <laughs> he finally learned to move like frog on bed. Do you want, am, He's am, trying not to blow his toad. <laughs> oh boy! Oh my! Wow! I think he might be actually trying to blow the toad. I think he may have on that. So since uh, since, uh Zarla started it, uh, Bozar, we're gonna skip right to the section just labeled "What the hell" with the description of seventeen question marks next to each other. Mm-hmm. And we Man, can just kind of go go down the list. Sure. Of, uh, people reading this the is a very funny school story. Sephiroth. <laughs> Cloud and Vincent are students. Their school bought a hen. The hen has Genova cells. Eggs, the hen bears are special eggs, and the people who eat the eggs can live longer lives. Only 10 students can purchase the eggs. Cloud wants to get the eggs because he wants to cook a sunny side up on the egg. <laughs> and boy, is lovely, Sephiroth. Ross. <laughs> And it's, it is chosen to take care of the hand. He takes very good care of the hand. He starts loving the hand. The hand <laughs> also loves Vincent. The hand is like his spouse. Oh, no. They were taking oh. their eggs from students. Vincent cheats that he sells his fake eggs. Sephiroth notices what Vincent is doing. He tries getting real eggs from Vincent, but Vincent her and the hen <laughs> attacks Sephiroth. I want to auction this for Hollywood. The thing to remember <laughs> about all of these summaries is that these are all real comics that really exist, that people bought for real money. <laughs> like, I would buy a chicken one just to see what the fuck he's talking about? This is just a reseller of, of a culture he doesn't understand. So this is like getting translated through someone who doesn't understand the thing he's doing. Like, <laughs> I, I get that the whole thing's in Japanese, but like whoever's selling these things isn't necessarily like the big Sephiroth Yahweh fan. So <laughs> I like imagining him writing this out being like, everything is fine. Everything is fine. He gets eggs from Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> he's more I mean, he's right that understands this? I just write it down, man. I don't know what it means. Yeah, I'm just selling the shit. I'm just selling the shit. People buy it. (laughs) (laughs) I need to move this porn. You need to move fast. I don't think that was porn, though. This is this is why I think it fell in the bottom category. (laughs) Some of them porn, and some of them I just I don't know. I don't know. I'm just moving. That's okay. We'll figure we'll figure it out with the next one, Bump Girl. (laughs) Sure, the next one will be confusing. (laughs) Are you saying my name because I have to read it? Yeah, you do. We're going. To, we're just going to oh. go down the list. The the. Um, I can take subtle hints. Discord link. Hey, that, everyone who thinks I can't. Um, <laughs> okay, so duo feeds Hero Cat and then has a dinner with Quatre. There are so many Troa heads everywhere in the room, so he wants to clean the room before dinner. Duo recommends Quatre that he should find a way to reduce the number of Troa heads. Quatre <laughs> tells that he has. Damn tries, it! Get out of my house. But he <laughs> failed. Are a problem. Hero Cat loves Troa head, so Troa always manufactures his new head and give it to Hero Cat. <laughs> no, I didn't read that wrong. That's actually exactly what I read. Yeah, that's literally uh, that's what it is. That's literally what it says. Yes. Hero Cat hears everything what Duo and Quatre are talking. Hero Cat thinks that it is very interesting to reduce numbers of the heads. I disagree. <laughs> this, this is quite the proposition. <laughs> Fewer severed heads in my house, you say. No, I don't more. know if they're severed because it means you manufacture. Okay. Makes the head. No. You can <laughs> also it's not, reduce it's the not numbers over. of the heads. There with are the many trow heads everywhere in the room. <laughs> um, so they're, they're just, just it's on the camp, you know, on the bed, hamper. It's the new so, Gundam sitcom. Too many <laughs> trow heads. heads. Too many heads. <laughs> so the stunning conclusion that he wrote cat finally makes a device to reduce number of troa heads in the next morning there is so huge troa head lying in quatre's house 
Hero Cat's attempt was failed. Where was the Thing hey. is, I've actually seen his comic. That is an accurate summary of what happened. Classic <laughs> hero cat, man. Jesus. <laughs> My work has been in vain. <laughs> the giant head have like a smiley face on. <laughs> Alright, Chief Skate, right. you're, you're next up for this. <laughs> okay. This is a Vincent and Pikachu doujinshi. Great. Vincent and Pikachu are very nice friends. Mm. Most people lose conchiose when they were watching Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh boy. Everybody punishes Pikachu. That's a combination between punishing and varnishing. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent is the only one who protects Pikachu. Aw, uh, he's a true friend. <laughs> Do I keep going? Yeah, yeah I keep going. Is, okay. yeah. All right, uh, Sephiroth does not <laughs> like Sephiroth. Pikachu. <laughs> he challenges Pikachu by golf. <laughs> As one does. As... Yeah. As that, is, that is the thing Pokemon battles are known for. A formal challenge. <laughs> Pikachu and Sephiroth have golf battle. I'm imagining like the Final Fantasy battle music playing. Dun, 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 Casual reminder, play golf story. Yeah, like, no, it, just, it, ta it takes like it takes like five minutes to watch each round because it has to play the full animation, like cinematic movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta make a two foot putt is this. <laughs> we zoom out to the to the solar solar transformation. System. You have to Pluto, and then you have to zoom back inside and explode yeah. more. <laughs> right. Sephiroth is very good at golf, but Pikachu is also very good. <laughs> that wow. is a lie. Nobody is good at golf. Pikachu's <laughs> <laughs> like two feet tall, but he's, I guess he's standing up on the golf. Yeah. Also, golf. that's a great oh. conclusion. <laughs> because it really yeah, brings like... everything together. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a cliffhanger. It's high stakes, you know? and I have to buy the comic and find out what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Alternately, you know, they just stopped keeping score and realized that, you know, it's just fun to be out there with your friend drinking beer on the golf course. <laughs> That's a moral Everyone gets distracted really. and just drives the little golf cart off the, uh, <laughs> through the sand traps. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, Lee. You can and then the they're one. best friends forever. See, that's a conclusion. <laughs> they bonded yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and there was sex in there somewhere. Uh, this is another Vincent and Pikachu doujinshi. Vincent was altered his body by Dr. Hoju. <laughs> Vincent can be pregnant. He does ah! not know about it. He has relation-ish shish with many guys such as Sephiroth and Pikachu. Oh. Vincent has no uh -huh. idea who is the father of his baby. Pikachu <laughs> is glad to become a father, but Sephiroth <laughs> wasts Vincent to have abortion. <laughs> he goes to doctor and finds out he is not actually pregnant. But he just happy. Yes. <laughs> you, were, you were just happy. Just... He has someone who takes care of him very well. He is Pikachu. <laughs> Please send a, send a email if you would like to purchase this doujinshi. But that summary, how can you say no? Wow. Uh, it needs like an mpreg trigger warning. <laughs> well, we don't know how the eggs got there, so. Anytime Vincent is happy, <laughs> I I have to buy that issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the unbelievable part that Vincent is Valentine is happy in it. Well, I don't know what Vincent this is, so I'm just assuming it's Vincent Price. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. If I could watch a movie take. where Vincent Price gets pregnant with Pikachu's baby, <laughs> I had my body out. Oh, Shell game, can you hear us? <laughs> <laughs> I am now carrying Pikachu's baby. We're very happy together. <laughs> 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 grizzly ghouls from every tomb are closing in to seal your womb. <laughs> I just sealed my womb. Yay! Yay! Oh, right, Come quiet, you can take the next one. What? Oh, no. Uh... <laughs> I understand oh. this reference. This... <laughs> Eva. 
captured Shinji inside. Oh my God. Misato <laughs> cries alone because she could not save Shinji's life. <laughs> there is a tiny boy. Get out from Eva. <laughs> <laughs> it is Shinji. <gasps> What are you doing there? Finds downsized Shinji. He got fired. <laughs> and is so exited. <laughs> she runs to administration to report that Shinji is alive. Kaji finds small Shinji. He thinks that the small Shinji is so pretty, he starts playing him. <laughs> Kaji puts a pencil into Shinji, even though he refuses. <laughs> to, to be fair, to be fair, that makes more sense than Neon Genesis Evangelion, like the actual <laughs> show. That was the original ending, I think. That's a true. Of He's getting kicked out of the dorms if he gets caught putting a pencil into Shinji. <laughs> yeah, they're like, He's not sounding, is he? <laughs> no. You have to buy the comic to find out what he meant. We'll never know. <laughs> All right, Boots, you can take the next one. Oh, okay. Mm. Duo is a adult manga author. One day, police arrests him because of too much explicit sexual expressions on his manga. He is that, that's like a literal expression of sexual on his manga, as in like you know expressions of <laughs> sexual no. on the manga. He is yeah. compound explicit. <laughs> <laughs> too hot to handle, literally. Too cold to hold. <laughs> you call the Ghostbusters and they're in control. Cheers. <laughs> he is explained why his expression is considered too much by policy. The investigator, as in like an alligator, uh, uses Hero as a model. The investigator asks him to take his <laughs> pants off. Guy. Whoa, whoa, this is a new character. I'm confused. Yeah. It's investigator Derek Jeter. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll let, wow. We should let him do this again. You should do that again. The investigator asks him to take his pants off. He throws his pants off. <laughs> I'll take them off. I'll show you. Yeah, defiantly. <laughs> uh, the investigator, back to the alligator, complains and snaps his gen genital by a stick mm, because it does not get hard yet. He tries oh. he tries make it hard by himself, but he cannot. He asks the investigator for help. He uses fingers to make it bigger. He starts explaining what too much expression by pointing Hero's genitals. Hero <laughs> is getting ex exited. So he asks Duo for Get help. The hell out of here. <laughs> He's getting pulled off with the vaudeville cane. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It didn't work out for Duo. He was <laughs> <laughs> Please send an email if you would like to purchase a Dujinshi. <laughs> Payment should be made only by international postal money order. <laughs> How dare you pay domestic? <laughs> wow, that's really dating this document. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Told you it's like 2000. <laughs> All right, sorry, I can take the next one. It's also, however, the only comprehensible part of that paragraph. <laughs> so I really like that <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Possibly the part too. So much that you want to make an international money order. <laughs> so Duo catches cold, so he goes to a hospital. He finds Hiro, who is a doctor, wearing sexy nurse outfit. Hio orders Duo to take off his underwear and studies Duo's genital. <laughs> he finds Gen genital. 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 He finds that. <laughs> He finds that duo's like yeah. he finds that duo's penis is phimosis. Skin covers up penis. He starts what? a surgery. Is that, is that not normal? Is that <laughs> there's skin on your penis? The skin is covering the penis. We have to get. Yeah, well, it off. I think phimosis is when your foreskin gets like so tight that it starts like hurting people. Oh. Don't she knows that word? That's good. the impressive part to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, look it up. I was like, how does it that like you know that word's okay, but like you know, <laughs> at hospital <laughs> and at email and yeah. Probably just checked his dictionary. <laughs> yeah, I guess it. that would make sense. Like he actually looks it up. <laughs> Although, damn, how hard would would that have been for him, the poor guy to look that up? Like. <laughs> And it, and it's not his native language. What's the thing where the skin covers up your penis too much? I don't. Without Google Translate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
<laughs> oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's a pu 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 No, it's just not coming to me. He starts oh. a surgery on Duo to cut the extra skin on his penis without anesthesia. <laughs> Oh, wait, no. The end. Don't you want to read that? No. <laughs> Spend money on reading it. <laughs> no. Spend Toshi money. The horriblest thing about this is F-plus has just taught me something I didn't know about before. <laughs> phimosis. <laughs> yes. Yeah, phimosis. How do you know that word? Uh, you know. In my medical <laughs> opinion? Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Not a doctor. Alright, uh, Bozart, take the next one. Uh, let's see which one is that. Because Oh, yeah. Quatre Rose, girls dresses and chases rabbit Troa. He has a lot of troubles when he is chasing Troa. Tries is a bottle of drink, and he asks Quatre <laughs> to drink him. What? And Quatre <laughs> refuses to drink Trace, and Trace tra turns into a cookie. <laughs> And Quatre to bite him. Wait, I actually remember this fetish. This back in an episode that I was in. Kinky. God, I, well, I, I'm loving fetish. the art that Shell Game is producing for this. Not, not, <laughs> it is, it is no, exactly no, as confusing sexual. as the words we are reading. <laughs> All right, bump girl. Oh, oh no, that's me. Sorry. <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> so, um, oh, the long one? Yeah. Yep. yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Strap on your uh, seat belts. Uh, the second story of this dojinsu. Seat belts. <laughs> Strap on your uh, seat belts. Um, the second story of this dojinshi is funny and graphical yaoi. Wufei and Duo are captured by OZ and thrown in the jail. See what I did there? Only one person will oh, notice yeah, what yeah. I did there. Yep, I fixed it. Wow. Uh, Not Dr. Oz? <laughs> oh, the original OZ. Uh, Troa <laughs> comes into the jail in order to talk with them. He left a device which can help them to escape from the jail for them. Duo switches on the device. Magic Troa appears from the device. The Magic Troa can make three wishes come true. Wu Fei Yi is wondering what he will ask the Magic Troa to his dream wishes dream comes true to his dream comes true to his <laughs> uh, oh no. he is wondering what he will ask the magic thrower to his dream comes true yeah. he will ask the very stupid wish to come true. <laughs> oh. uh, he yeah, seeks the magic thrower that he wishes to eat a go he, he asks the magic thrower <laughs> that he wishes to eat a huge sausage <laughs> which comes that true. Is a stupid wish. <laughs> That's a dumbass wish. This Fucking is the first true thing I've read all night. <laughs> okay. I would His like to comes... see these performed on stage. <laughs> I think I'm like show. Off Broadway. Is it Yowie if he just eats a sausage? Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> if the, if is it Yowie so if the sausage the story, is but... left uneaten? Um, yeah, unlike the rest of the ones. Just... Mr. Swallows. <laughs> Check out sausage. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay, his wish comes true. Duo sees a very big sausage on a dish. Wu Fei gets very mad because Duo asked the magic troa to make his stupid wish come true. Wu Fei <laughs> accidentally tells that he wishes that the sausage is glued on Duo's genital. Hey. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> Accidental true spelling of genital. Um singular. It is all too late. I, don't, don't I fucking know it. <laughs> Really nice. <laughs> Wufei did not intend that it is his wish, but he sees that Duo's genital has become a hug sausage. Yay! 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 As seen on TV, now available at T-H-E-F-P-L-U-S. -E 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 uh, Somebody okay, wants to register, register the name Hug Sausage. <laughs> I, okay, I refuse to move on until someone draws me a hug sausage. Yeah. All right, well, that's the end of the night. <laughs> it ends here. Okay, fine. I'll keep going. Because it does keep going. I bet you're glad about that, right? That wasn't the end of the paragraph. Uh, um, so Duo, who I totally forget who this asshole is, gets very mad at Wu Fei. He asks Wu Fei to eat the sausage. Wait. <laughs> His genital 
is hidden on the sausage now. Mufei starts eating the sausage. Duo feels a pain because Mufei bits his genital too. <laughs> what did you think would happen, Duo? <laughs> My master plan ruined somehow. <laughs> that stupid wish all over again. <laughs> Duo requests Troa to give a bed. Fair, As one does. Come on, why? <laughs> <laughs> Duo throws Wu Fei onto the bed. Wu Fei is handcuffed and naked. Duo starts playing with Wu Fei's nipples. Wu Fei blushes his face. <laughs> Duo puts his genital into Wu Fei. <laughs> Wu Fei feels ecstasy. Please send an email to antique at Tokyo. I probably shouldn't read the rest of this email address for confidentiality reasons. If you would like to purchase this Tojinshi, hopefully it's long enough, but payment should also only be made with an international postal money order. <laughs> I that... love how they just start having sex while the genie's just sitting there watching them. Just while they're still yeah, I want to know what happened wish. to the sausage. Can you you idiot. You guys have another wish sausage. or what? That was such a stupid wish. Uh, I wish it was glued to your penis. Why are you still oh, here? No, I, I wish I was eating it. I, gave up. I already got my three wishes. Why are you still here? <laughs> I don't know. I just want to watch this happen. I mean, what's going on? This is weird. <laughs> right. See, <laughs> wait. If the, my problem you is that this is the second story of the Jinchi. Yeah, yeah that didn't there was wait, a first one which wasn't third. as good. <laughs> and, <laughs> apparently, first it was. Just, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Well, I'm sure the next one will live up to everybody's expectations. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Troa and Wufei are exploring in jungle. Troa is bitten by poison small chicken. <laughs> Oh, no. Yes. That was my wish. <laughs> poisonous chickens are a real problem. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's going to be poison poison okay because it's not a venomous chicken. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Woofay sucks out the poison from Troa. Troa tells that he is bitten again. Woofay asks where he is bitten. Troa tells that he is bitten on his lip. Ooh. Oh, he Ooh. wants to kiss Wu Fei. Please send an email to Antique etc. etc. if you would like to purchase this. Well, it should only player. be made with international postal money order. Yeah, it's a real spoiled the twist. Wow, <laughs> the real twist was after that. <laughs> All right, Lou, you can take the next one. All right, one day, Duo accidentally drops Hero into a lake. Beautiful Venus, brackets, Relina. All right. Suddenly <laughs> appears from the lake. She asks Duo whether Hero he drops into the lake is made of neo titanium <laughs> or gundaminium metal. <laughs> Duo is an honest boy. He <laughs> is that, honest he, boy. that his hero is very strong, but he is just a human being. <laughs> The Venus is very happy with Duo's honest answers, so she gives two hero as a reward. One is made of neo-titanium. The other hero is made of gundaminium. That's she a condominium also, that's also a gundam. She also gives him, I would live in that. She also, she also gives back real hero to Duo. Duo is put in a big trouble because three heroes want to make love with Duo. Oh it no, that's raping. the worst fantasy scenario ever. It is like raping. Who well, uh, all complains about it? Heroes need a solution. The heroes come up with a great idea. They throw Duo into the lake. The <laughs> Venus shows up again. They successfully get two duos. One is made a of, duo, two, duo. of Neo Titanium, <laughs> the other one is made of Gundaminium. The real duo is also returned. The three heroes and duos are very happy. Did they all hook up with the I one object. made that out one of the thing? <laughs> like, no, it did tell a like story. The Neo Titanium ones pair up and the Gundaminium ones pair up like That's the Metalist and Fantasia. Metalist. <laughs> maybe maybe they're, they're intermetal swingers. Who knows? You, you don't know how they pair up. That's why you have to. Oh, oh I need to get an international money order if that's the case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one I'm still like, to take the next one. I just want to tell I'm still kind of disappointed that that one actually had flow. <laughs> point, like I, I, wouldn't I wouldn't fail that essay. I have you that might one. be worried that we forgot about Final Fantasy VII. Don't worry. We came back to it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, worried. Worried. Okay, well, I'm always worried about like that. Rapping. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Hmm. Zax notices that Sehirov becomes very careless once a two weeks. He is waiting for the day. Zax put a special medicine into Sephiroth's drink. It can Forget put him now. to sleep and change to a girl. <laughs> the drink Sephiroth? changes to a girl? Yeah, the drink changes to a girl. That's... <laughs> yeah, the, the medicine. Subject, yeah. object, verb, it works. We had somebody else change it to a drink earlier. So. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Sephiroth gets mad at Zax when he, she wakes up. Zax calls him her Sephiath Chan and puts a very pretty dress on her. He has a date with her in an amusement park. He is having a really good time. Mm -hmm. Sephiath Chan suddenly <laughs> takes off her dress. The magic is losing its effectiveness. She turns back to Sephiroth and uses magic to make Zax become a little girl. He steals Zack's clothes and put the girl's dress to Zack's. They find out the transportation to return their home is canceled due to accident. They stay in a hotel. Zack's turns back to real Zack's, but he is abused badly by Sephiroth as punishment. <laughs> that, that stops being ninjas and gender swap suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh look, that's like there's stuff and the stuff and the oh look, rape, great. Aww. <laughs> so, it's not that bad. Um, let's see. So we're almost uh, we're almost out of time here. So uh Zarla, if there's one one last one that you know of off the top of your head. Um let's see. Uh I think there might be one. Let me see if I can uh let's see. <clears throat> I I do a uh, like this one was just, Zax finds Cloud watering a garden. He come close to Cloud from behind. He wants to play a trick to Cloud. So he takes the water hose from Cloud's hand and spray water on Cloud. Cloud get very mad. So takes the hose back from Zax and put it into Zax's pants. Zax gets a lot of wet all over his pants. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I just That's want a logical think. sequence. I'm disappointed. I want to read this really short one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, first soldiers are given pretty ribbons. They should put the ribbons. Cloud is a pretty boy, so Zax <laughs> puts the ribbon on Cloud. <laughs> oh, see, that's nice. That's Aww, that oh, I sense. found a relevant one. Uh -huh. Duo is rabbit girl, and hero is a cat girl. Hey. Hero <laughs> see, bring it back. <laughs> yeah. Bring it hero always together. gives tough times to Duo. Duo wats to go back to his home after school, but he is taken to karaoke by hero. <laughs> That's the uh, that's the duoity yeah. of cat girls. Yeah, the oh. scene taken to karaoke by Hero. <laughs> and I'll, I'll read oh. this one short one since I didn't read anything. This is oh no, what? <laughs> it's all gone. This is this is Hero and Reliana story. I am very sorry that I cannot write description. It is almost two a.m. I am very sleepy. Good night. I will write description <laughs> later. <laughs> Thank you, Toshi. <laughs> I also like this short one just, this is very kinky, Cloud x Vincent Yaoi Doujinji. In this Doujinji, Vincent abuses Cloud very roughly. It does not have much story. Vincent and Cloud just have good time in this Doujinji. <laughs> I also like the one above the uh, sleepy one. I feel a little sorry for Kasumi. There are not so many girls in Pokemon, so she is always chosen as a sexual target in Doujinji world. <laughs> There is a restroom which is always locked. Vincent is wondering why it is locked. He opens the door. He is stumbed what he finds inside. <laughs> I, I like is the over. One. Gundam boys no, no, are we... living in Quatra's house. Quatra falls down from stairs. We need to wrap up. I think that's like a, a Georges Méliès film. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, did you find one? Vincent. Like Vincent is housemate of Sephiroth. Sephiroth makes love with Vincent. He puts his fingers into Vin's butts. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. All of them. All but. <laughs> I was like, this doujinshi contains very philosophical stories. I cannot describe well. I actually do not understand what was happening in the late Evangelion episodes. <laughs> so even he was like, even Toshi had no idea what was happening. He's like, dude, I don't know. All right. Uh, we Consider did... everything else you've heard and realize that this is what this guy couldn't understand. <laughs> All right. We're out of time. We didn't learn anything this hour. Uh, we'll be nope. back. <laughs> No, we really didn't. Nope, nope. <laughs> no, we know what phimosis is. Okay, you're right. Yeah, okay. that's true. That's true. Uh, we'll be back in about five minutes with TV Tropes right. Nightmare Fuel. I'm going to be hosting that one. Uh, pretty much everybody here is going to stick around. Lou, you, you, can you stay for another hour? Nope. 
Okay, then no. <laughs> Lou's leaving, Lou is leaving us, and uh, the rest of us are sticking around. So uh, we'll be back very soon. <laughs>